it's fairly common that authors center their variables before they form the introduction term. In this video I will take a look at whether that is actually necessary and whether you should do that or not. In Heckman's paper the authors argue that they did center the variables to reduce uh, multicollinearity. The idea of, of centering uh, and multicollinearity is that if you have x and m and then you form a product of x and m then the product will be correlated with both x and m because those two variables form the interaction. And by centering we can reduce those correlations. So let's take a look at some data. And uh, we have two random numbers here, x1 and x2. Here the x1 and x2 uh, have means of 2. And here we have centered the variables x1 and x2 to have means of 0. So the idea of centering is that you take the original variable and then you subtract the mean and that will make the mean of the variable to be zero and we say that the variable is centered. The bar symbol over the x means that it's, it's centered, it's uh, the mean of that variable. And standardization is uh, centering and dividing by standard deviation. We can see here that uh, even the x1 and x2 are, uh, they are not very strongly correlated. So he, that's the pattern, no particle pattern. But when we multiply x1 and x2 together, then that product is highly correlated with x1 and x2. So there's a strong statistical relationship. When we center the variables, uh, the bivariate relationship here stays the same. But uh, we can see that the relationship between x1 and x2 and their, pro their product is quite different. There is still a strong statistical relationship. So when uh, x1 or x2 goes to zero, then there is no variation in, in, in the data and then it spread out, spreads out when x1 and x2 in, increases. So there is still a strong statistical association but it is no longer a linear association. So what's the implication for regression analysis with this, this centering stuff? On the left hand side we have the variable where the data, the, the regression analysis for the data that is not centered and on the right hand side we have regression analysis for centered data. And we can see that the difference in, in what the centering does for regression of, of y on x1 and x2 is that it just changes the intercept. So only the intercept is different and the first order effects of x1 and x2 are the same which is quite natural because you're simply, by when you center you're simply subtracting something from x and something from x2 and that will simply because you subtract the same number for every observation that will only alter the intercept because it doesn't affect the correlations of the covariance of x1 with x2 and the covariance between those two variables and y. Th those are unaffected by centering. So centering will only affect means and in normal regression analysis it only affects the intercept. What's the, uh, the downside of centering is that once we calculate predictions, here the predictions for this model are on the original metric. So we will get uh, predictions on whatever the y is. And if we calculate predictions using this model, then the predictions will be off by the amount that we centered. So for example, if we're predicting a salary, and let's say this model would give uh, 10,000 euros per year, then this model could give uh, minus 2,000 euros, which doesn't make sense unless we back convert or back translate that effect to the non-centered variables. So centering uh, makes predictions and makes uh, doing plots that apply predictions more difficult. And that's important for interactions for reasons that are, I'll explain in, in, the, in the last slide. When we uh, take an interaction term, we can see now that uh, there's, there are some more differences. Importantly, the differences are only in the first three coefficients. So intercept again is different, which is uh, expected. But now x1 and x2 coefficients are different. But the interaction of x1 and x2 is the exact same number. So the centering actually uh, doesn't influence the interaction term at all it influences only the first order coefficients. So is that something that you want to do or not? We, we have to consider, to answer that question, we have to consider what exactly the centering means and what, it, what exactly it means that we have this, this interaction term here. Let's take a look at a graph. 
So here the, um, the x1 and x2 effects are when x1 and x2 is 0 and here the x1 and x2 effects are the mean effects. So when x1 and x2 are at their means, then uh, that's what the x1 and x2 effects are. What that means can be understood by looking at, at this graphically. So we have here a, a, a space and there is a plane in the space. Here we have uh, x1 on this axis, we have x2 on this axis, and then we have y here. So uh, when we have two coefficients or two variables in a regression analysis, as two independent variables, then the regression uh, is a plane in three-dimensional space. And we can see the plane here and because of the interaction, the effect of um, x1 on y is the strength of that effect is contingent on the value of x2. So here, when x2 is at zero, then uh, x1 simply uh, increases a little, so the effect is not that great. When x2 is at 5, the effect is a lot, lot grayer, so we have the, see, see a lot steeper slope here. So the idea is that the, the regression slope of x1 changes as a function of x2. Also the intercept changes, so this line goes, uh, goes down here. So uh, what centering does is that normally when we do an interaction term, we take the effect of x1. So the interaction, regression with interaction gives you uh, the effects of x1, effects of x2 and their, uh, their product. When we don't center our data, the effect of x1 is this blue line here. So it's the effect of x1 when x2 is zero. Similarly, the effect of x2 is the effect of uh, x2 when x1 is zero. When we center, instead of taking uh, the effect of x2 is at zero for, if, for x1, we take an effect of x1 when x2 is at its mean. So we take uh, this green line in the middle. So the centering just influences which of these possible lines do we take it from here, from here, or perhaps all the way from the other end of the data. So it just changes at which part of the regression plane we are looking at. But the problem is that you have to look at multiple places. So you can't summarize this plane by saying that the effect of x1 is this line. You have to show multiple lines. So it doesn't really matter which of these lines you show in your regression table. And that's the problem. So you have to do uh, these interaction plots. So you have to show multiple plots. So you, say, you sh show that uh, the slope of x1 depends on the value of x2. And uh, which of these lines we show in the, in, in the regression table is arbitrary. So it doesn't really matter because we have to present these kind of plots anyway. So what we show here, whether we have the effect of x1 here to be uh, the blue, green or red line, doesn't really make a difference. We have to show all the lines anyway. The problem with centering is that uh, once we center our variables, then the interaction plot, the values of the predictive values of y will be incorrect by the amount that we, uh, we center the data. So we can no longer do predictions uh, usefully. We have to uh, convert the predictions back to the non-centered metric for them to make sense. So centering is not useful because it doesn't do anything for the interpretation. You will have to interpret the results with this kind of plot anyway. And uh, centering will be harmful for this plot because uh, or it makes forming these plots more difficult because you have to uh, back convert your variables to the original metric to get the predictions correct. So uh, because of this uh, consideration, uh, my recommendation is never center your data. It's not useful and it is harmful.